What's going on everyone? Jason here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new Sea Showcase for 7 Days to Die on console. Now do note that this is for the PS4, Xbox One version, that's the Telltale, and will not be compatible with the future port of 7 Days on current gen consoles. Now today's seed is called Neebs. It has your normal hub city, 6 towns, 6 four ways, and a dozen traders that I was able to find. And it also boasts 2 Red Mesa missile silos. POIs. Now, I did not find any uh, booby traps, log cabin, or any of those type of POIs. Of course, I don't naturally go out of my way searching every dirt road and all that because I want to leave the exploration to the unknown. Not just for you, but for myself as well. I don't like knowing where everything's at. So yeah, uh, overall assessment of the map, even though it only has six towns, which I really thought was more, um, I didn't realize it only had six towns until after I was done. It does have some wasteland issues that can be kind of avoided for the most part. But overall, if you're looking for a very scenic, you know, just very uh, visually aesthetically pleasing type of map, this is definitely one I would uh, highly recommend, to be honest. Now, very, very good as far as that goes. It's got a lot of hills. It just... Take my word for it. It's very scenic. <laughs> um, so, yeah. You know. As you can see, you know. A little lakefront. Even got a buddy over here. I don't know what the hell he's been doing. Yeah, he... Living his best life, I guess. You know. Yeah. I'm just letting him... Letting him do whatever he's wanting to do. You know. He seems happy. So, I guess that's all that matters. And, of course, my guy's hot. Let's just throw that on real quick. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So let's go ahead and take ourselves to Hub City. So if you're new, what I will be doing is we'll start here in Hub City. We'll follow the path on the east side to, to the south, go counterclockwise around the entire map, at which point I will stop at every town and every four-way, and then afterward every trader location. At which point, at each location, you can pause the video, write down the coordinates if you so choose to keep for your own records, or you can continuously keep coming back to the video. The choice is totally up to you. I just like giving those options. So let's go ahead and start. So here in Hub City, usually always at the zero, 00 mark. Let's go ahead and grab that road. Let's go south, and we'll come to our first green town sitting right here. Now, this town does have the well bunker, the shed bunker, and a passing gas with the workbench. We move south. And we got this four-way in this patch of uh, wasteland. Now, this four-way does have a passing gas with the workbench as well. Yeah, so early game. Now, I don't know if you want to risk going into that, but, you know, the choice is up to you. You know how dogs are. Come up here, and we got this green biome sitting right here. Well, four-way in a green biome, I should say. Then we got dead ends over there. Trail up north, and we got this town right here. Now, this one does have both style bunkers as well. Then for reference, we come over here. You can see the hub city down there. Let's head north, and we come to this uh, four-way in the green biome as well. And this one does have a shed bunker. And for... Reference, there is a strip of wasteland sitting right here. Let's go west, and we come to this green town sitting right here. Now, this town does have both style bunkers as well. And just for the record, this whole patch up here you see above the snow biome is wasteland. But we come all the way over here, and we have this four-way right here with the passing gas with the workbench as well. Come to the edge of the map, and just a side note, there's actually two well bunkers and a shed bunker sitting here. I thought that was actually pretty nice, because that's some good loot. Possible good loot, anyway. But that is invert biome. We come to this snow town, mixed with the uh, green. Now, this town does have the first red mesa missile silo, along with a shed bunker. If we go east just a little bit, just outside of Hub City... We have a four-way and green biome sitting right here. And, of course, yep, that is Wasteland, just for the record. 
And then a short trip south from that town is this green town sitting right here. And this one has the second location of the Red Mesa Missile Silo. And we'll get up, go back over here in a little while because there's something of a value to note. Uh, let's see, we come over here and we have the four-way over here. Half desert, half green. For reference, uh, Hub City is to the northeast of us and there's that uh, wasteland patch right there. Come back down this way, you know, dead ends. And we come to this green town sitting right here. And unfortunately, all it has is a well bunker. And of course, POIs, obviously. Okay, that's all the towns. So let's go to our first trader. Our first trader is right here. He is sitting on that island all by himself. So if you want an island base, that would be a good location. And we got that trader sitting right there. Got him. Just close to Wasteland. We got him sitting there. And we get to this trader right here. Now, do note that this trader is separated by that uh, strip of wasteland to the west of him. And really, the only way to get to him, you do have a country road right here if you want to risk going through it. Uh, otherwise, if you come all the way up to the border, it does open up away from wasteland to where you can actually travel down. Uh, or if you happen to come to this trader, uh, he's, you know, right next to him. Uh, let's see, make sure there's no trader locations there. Now we come to this trader in the snow biome. I didn't get close enough to see, so I don't know if it potentially could be Trader Hugh. I have not seen Trader Hugh in any of my games in many years now. Uh, he's just so hard to spawn, and he has to be in a snow biome. Because, you know, he's got to be difficult. But we got this trader right here. And then we come to this trader right here. Now note that this trader is in Wasteland. Uh, I'm going to try not to change the page like I've been doing. But as you can see, he's right there near the edge of, of the Wasteland. So, you know, chop a bunch of trees, bake a bunch of wood frames, make yourself a little path, and super easy to get to. So he's really not that hard to get to. So don't let that discourage you. He's really close. Then we come over to this guy over here, which looks like he should be in the desert. And so it's probably a Bob. I would probably put money on all of them being Bob at this point. With the way uh, he's been spawning in every game of mine. Then we got this trader sitting right here. And then the last two traders, I believe. So you got this guy sitting here in the snow. Which I do know for a fact is not Trader Hugh. Because I did get close enough to look. But I forgot to check the other, these other two traders that were in Snowbomb. And there's your final trader sitting right there in that Snowbomb. So yeah, overall, like I said, it, it's not like the seed has a whole lot of stuff. But you really don't need a whole lot of towns. You don't need 10, 20 towns. You don't need three hub cities. It's nice, but you, with the amount of hoarding that I do in this game, you know, trust me, even with loot... Loot respawn not on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is plenty of resources. And six towns, real, the towns actually give you uh, a fair good amount of things. Now, the, the snow town, but not so much because, you know, there's, what, five uh, trailer parks sitting right there. Uh, but overall, every town is actually pretty decent with uh, store POIs. And on the plus side, almost everywhere you live, there is a trader relatively close. Um, so, you know, no matter where you live, you're going to have access to a trader. Now, as I was mentioning a little bit ago, right here outside of this town, there is this cliffside right here. And me, I have been looking for a north to south cliffside for years now for a build in mine. I never could get the perfect location. And sure enough, right when the port's about to come out, here it is. Um, 
but the interesting aspect of this cliff is there is a cavern inside it. Uh, on the side of the cliff, uh, pretty hard to get to, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it, you get to the entrance, and it does open up inside uh, the cap, uh, the mountainside, cliffside, whatever you want to consider it. Uh, so I thought that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. And, of course, there's a red Mesa missile silo sitting right there. So, But, um, yeah, you know, I, I thought that was actually a pretty cool location. And then, like I said, the wasteland, you know, like that patch, you can get away with it. But almost everywhere you live, you're going to have some form of wasteland relatively close. Uh, if you live on the east side, it's probably where you're going to be the safest as far as avoiding it. Especially if you want to read a treasure map and not have it go into wasteland. You know, aside from this little strip right here, you know, it's pretty clear on uh, the east side of the map. So that's, you know, really the only safe spot. Otherwise, everywhere else you live, you've got to deal with wasteland. Yeah. You know, especially up here by the snow. Yeah, that's a big old patch. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, I think overall the seed is actually pretty decent. If I was going to play on this seed, it would probably be that cliffside or one of the red Mesa missile silos. Because I've always wanted to build in there. Uh, but that's just me, you know, and again, overall, even though the wasteland is kind of crappy, you can't avoid it for the most part. You ain't got to really go through it except for some key locations. And chances are, if you're traveling that far, you're going to be on a mini bike, so it ain't going to matter. Uh, but again, if you want a scenic sea to play on, I would probably highly recommend this one. Uh, this one definitely, definitely pretty good. Buddy over there just still living his life, you know. Hey, you know, more power to him. So, obviously, you know, I hope it was informative. I hope it's a seed that you might like. If not, you know, there is other seeds out there. So, you know, everyone has their own preferences. And if you're curious, you know, if you do play on the seed, uh, go ahead and let me know what you think of it. I think it's actually uh, going to be a decent one. And if you're curious, you know, I'll do this right here at the end. Since it's only in one room, I had to have a toilet somewhere. So I built a little outhouse out here. You know, you got to have a place to poop. And then you come into the cab little cabin and, you know, you see I decked it out a little bit. Got a nice entertainment area. A little remodeling on the, uh, the kitchen front. I was going to put cabinets up there, but I decided not to. It's only supposed to be like a retreat type of cabin anyway. You know, repaired that. And I even added a loft up here. So I can have a place for my bed. Now, nice little uh, getaway location. Nice and scenic. You know, nothing too extreme. Of course, I really should not be doing that because if I do a uh, house flipper series like I've been wanting, I'm kind of <laughs> kind of being de detrimental to myself by doing it like that because I'm probably going to have some repeats if I ever do it officially. But enough of my rambling. Hope everything is good. Stay safe. And until next time, everyone, definitely take it easy.